to uh, learn about our training sessions, right? See, uh, your timing is from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. Now, from 4 p.m., right? Like from so today is the first day. Okay. Someone is presenting. Please stop that. One second, someone was presenting. Oh. Hmm. So I was saying that uh, we'll be starting our lecture sessions, kind of like you can say on the, the teaching part and all. We'll be going from 4 to 5 p.m. The rest 5 to 6 part will be the assignment parts and you can say on the task part, whatever we will be learning on the day, we will be going through the assignments and the task on the next one hour. Okay, So that will be convenient. So with everyone, you can uh, also do the practicals on the same time to get like understanding with everyone. So how many of you have Python on your systems? If not, then I'll share your link here. Uh, this is the link. You can get to the editors and environments in the Python. Okay. We'll discuss something regarding the Python today. Today will be just an introductory session. Till five, we'll be discussing on everything for the Python. So, uh, someone is saying, I know basics of uh, basics. Uh, what basics you know? You can tell me. Okay. Yeah, basic uh, data types and variables. I know some uh, how to read, uh, how to load data, and how to implement the data, and the visualization purpose. Some basics are also. Okay, of Python you have done some basics, so to yeah, functions, yeah. classes, and all. Okay, fine. So variables and data types, you know, fine. That's cool. Uh, okay. Let me see one by one. Mm. How many of you are from schools or colleges? From school, how many are there? No school students? It's fine. Okay. Can you quickly give me your introductions, everyone? From which state? That's it. Hello, sir. Good evening. This is Hashita from Dharmavaram. I have done MSc statistics in SK University. Okay. Hmm. Next. Anyone? Strand up quick. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, sir, I'm Shivi Shivasta from Bhopal. I'm I'm in BC final year. It's uh, nice. Next. Quick, quick, guys, quick. Hello, sir. Hello. I'm Bibliari from Maharashtra. And you say hi. Nice. Next. Anyone, just start. Like, quick, quick. We have around 17 people. Uh, only. I have got four interactions. Out of the rest, 13. Quick, guys. Hello, sir. I'm Mansa from Hyderabad. Uh, I'm doing BTEC for second year. Second year, okay, fine. Next. Yeah. Hello, sir. I'm Kamini Sharma from Surat. Diploma of Computer Engineering for stage. Hello, next, okay, next. Hello, sir. Hello. I am Raman Dixit. Okay. Hello, so I'm Akshita. I'm from Pune. I'm an engineering secretary. Okay. Next. Uh, hello, sir. I'm Swaraj from Pune, uh, mm -hmm. Maharashtra, and I'm uh, in BCS Computer Science uh, at the last uh, in uh, last year. So I'm teaching to the student the programming language. 
Okay, okay, okay. That's nice. Next. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. I am Dikita Kamridi from Andhra Pradesh, studying in BTEC second year, CSE. CSE, okay. Next, next. Quick, I think four or five left. Like this from MP. MP, all right. Uh, next. Someone join now, Drishti, I think. Hello, sir. Okay. I am Ritikesh Nimje. Mm -hmm. I'm oh. from Maharashtra, CSE. Okay. Hello, sir. I am Drishti and I am from Tripoli department. Okay. I think almost everyone is covered now. Uh, all right. Fine. So, uh, let me also give my introduction. Uh, my name is Sumit Kumar Shukla. Okay. I'm a director of my own company and also an employee of Google. Okay. So, guys. We'll be going through Python basics and some things regarding the projects and all, okay? That's the, they are in your code structure and also I'll be sharing the code structures with you. So what I said that the first half of the two hours will be covering with all the things, right? Like whatever the course modules contains, we'll be going through that. And the next one hour will be uh, assignments and task part. So how many of you have Python on your systems? Again, I'm asking quick, uh, just write yes or no here in the chat box. One, no, three, two. <clears throat> quick, quick, four, five. Hmm. Uh, okay. So I see major has no Python. Okay, fine. See, I, I have sent a link again sending there. So you can download from this link. You can download the uh, editors like we will be mainly uh, concentrating on Python 3. Point, you can download any one. Uh, here it is Python 3.8.3. .3. You can go with that. 6.5 is also nice, right? You can go with that too. Okay, one second. Hello, sir. I'm in class taking class. Okay, so uh, you also have uh, there as Anaconda. Anaconda, how many of you are having uh, any editors like Anaconda or uh, you know, like PyCharm? Anything uh, one is having okay, two, three, four. Fine, so, okay, I see Anaconda, most of you are having, VS Code is having with Swaraj. Hmm, fine. So, uh, both are compatible, actually. PyCharm is also good, Anaconda is also good. So, in Anaconda, what we'll be doing, we'll be dealing with Jupyter. Yeah, uh, let me show you once. Okay, first we'll go through the Python channel, then we'll let you know. Okay. So, let's quickly uh, start. So, before I start up... Uh, let me ask you for the uh, rest of the people who know a bit of basics of Python. Uh, how can you define Python? Uh, let me ask you first as uh, Swaraj. How can you define Python? Uh, sir, I can say that Python is a programming language that is, uh, I think that very simple, uh, mm -hmm. rather than the Java and something like that. Uh, as well as uh, Python uh, do the more things, uh, data science, that, that, sorry, uh, data handle that things, uh, mm -hmm. as well as uh, uh, scripting things uh, and the software things. That's why the, I think so Python, Python is uh, uh, now trending language. Mm, okay, fine. Next, I think someone said, uh, who was that uh, girl who know a bit of that? functions or variables was that can you brief me uh, what exactly we say as Python anyone can say yeah I just said format for programming language mm -hmm. and it is easy to learn mm -hmm. it has largest community for learners and collaborators huge mm -hmm. number of Python libraries is available mm -hmm. 
it is simple for beginners okay um mathematical implementation can be done easily in this python yeah it is a popular and high level object oriented language mm -hmm. it is a okay, great so tool to implement algorithms for production production yeah fine so these are the main keywords what you have used like high level object oriented interpreted uh you will get to know a good fact but after a minute couple of minutes yes uh, so uh, one more question right what is programming apart from the python like going to the basics what is programming uh, excuse me sir mm -hmm. So programming is a set of instructions which uh, dictate it what is to be executed sequence wise. Okay, uh, fine. So this is a set of instructions, right? No, that's the proper code you are saying. Set of instructions code. Um, sometimes people say it as a set of codes, set of instructions. Uh, what more? Anyone? Something more? set of arguments sometimes all right so all these are correct i'm trying to say uh okay fine so this is like exactly what we say it's programming a set of instructions set of codes uh, in very simple words we say that it is a kind of a method in which we try to communicate with our machines right and the method the language which is used in this method is called as a programming language and there are so many languages uh, for us to learn there and today we are going to start up with one such language that is called as python right and this python is a very high level object oriented and as well as the uh, interpreted programming language which has garnered the worldwide attention for now right so stack overflow you know stack overflow this is found out of like 38.9 or 8 percent of the users uh, who you uh, mainly use python for their like projects or any uh, colleges or anything you can say okay so this is like now a very trending language as one of you said right that's a very trending language and yeah python is very simple to learn will go through its all popularities and all kind of uh, features you can say on oh, okay so fine how many of you say python is an interpreter uh, i just said now so still how many of you say python is an interpreted programming language or a compiler based a compiler no one will say right okay so do you know uh, do you understand the difference between a compiler and an interpreter Anyone who can differentiate the thing? Uh, sir, compile check the syntax of the language uh, at the block of uh, code and interpreter check the syntax of language line by line. Hmm. So, uh, can you tell that's me... That's the one difference. Okay, yeah. That's the exact difference. Okay. So, can you tell me, Suraj, that uh, what is python like what interpreter uh, sorry uh, on what it runs compiler or interpreter 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 how many of you go with swaraj interpreter okay see uh, okay guys see uh, whenever i ask a question uh, most of the times I will ask questions in yes or no, okay? So for every yes, what you have to do is, uh, in the chat box, write one, okay? <laughs> that discrete value will be going on. For yes, it's one, for no, it's zero, okay? So if I'm asking how many of you go with Swaraj for yes, every yes, you write one there, okay? That's it. So you can just quickly write, respond there. You don't have to unmute your mic and then speak out. Just write one, zero, one, zero in there. Yes. How many of you go with Python as an interpreted language? I see a lot of ones. Okay, that's it. Yeah, Python is an interpreted language, a programming language. But this is also a fact that the codes are first being compiled 
and then being interpreted. But the compilation process is so fast, so fast, I'll let you know how it is done, okay? So these processes are so much fast that we can only see the interpretation process and that is why we say that Python is an interpreted language. It will go and go its fight on Google and search first in first the Python codes are first compiled and then being interpreted to get out the possible results as well. As, okay. Fine. So I think my PPT is over you like orange one you can see on there. Mouse moving there. Yes sir. Okay, cool. So let's start up the So our today agenda is to learn what is Python, why is Python popular, what are the features of Python, where is this used in this industry like you know, a lot of industries are like using this Python language for now, for now not from a past times, okay. Uh, can you let me know any application or any, uh, you can say, uh, implementation of Py this uh, programming language? in real life any examples of any applications or websites or anything softwares anything you know that is built using python so web developer game development artificial intelligence mm -hmm. these these are the areas where we can go with this language okay i'm asking the like the examples you are correct that is correct obviously uh, the examples like any such website which is built using python a good website any such uh, application which everyone use okay I, i'm giving you the answer you use instagram most of you will be using it, yes right that is completely built on that instagram is completely built on the uh, core concept of python okay uh, for for the one who know the basics you might be knowing that uh, every variable is to be started up with an uh, underscore right you you cannot use uh, spaces there same goes with the instagram also okay uh, that will go in detail for them all. okay now uh, let's start it today so what is python we say it's a high level language object oriented and you can say don't miss that keyword programming language okay interpreted programming language and which is very easy syntax and dynamic semantics okay so it was created by sir van rossum in 1989 to make things easy and simpler as it could be it tried to uh, make all the codes as it, as simple as he can, like not to define more, uh, uh, you can say, less uses of data and all, okay, not defining the data types, more various things are there, we'll go in detail. So why is Python popular? Uh, all you can see in on your screen, it's uh, less code, pre-built libraries, ease of learning, platform independent, massive community support, a lot of things are there. But we'll go one by one. So the very first one is, Python is a language preferred by the beginners and the pros. You know this keyword pros, we say like in a game too, whenever we play a game with our friends, we say he's a pro player, he's a pro player, right? That pro means exactly like professionals, you know? like the beginners and the professionals. So don't be misconceptions with that. So this is a language which is preferred by the beginners, like from uh, most of you, like will be starting up with this language for now. Okay, we'll be dealing up with the language. What is this exact language? Why we are learning this? Okay, so this is like your stage where you are a beginner, okay. And this has, has a very good community support. We'll go in that. So community support, the the supporters you can say on those who sit at that position are called basically as the professionals or anyone who who goes with python every day who goes with this libraries a lot of things are there right those are professionals python developers we call as okay okay next next is that python is an open source language okay one more thing uh what is that once again is it right uh, let me take it this 
one minute guys okay uh, what is the full form of this thing floss quick how many of you know don't google what is floss it's simple see uh, something you can see here open source okay this is os open source floss is nothing but free library open source software so for any of the programming language or any of the softwares you use which are free of course okay which can be used like it will go in open source feature what is it exactly okay so this is an open source language right you can download python you can write codes of the python you can build your own program that's it you are not going to pay for all these things right that's a free one so that is called as like open source language okay which is free for everyone to use it now this python you can make or uh, you can run codes even on your mobile on your desktop on your laptops even if you don't have uh, for that like i was asking that how many of you have python so like if there is a problem in installing python in your system so you have web applications like you have kaggle you know kaggle um, you have google collaboratories um, various things are there okay these two are the best i think okay so web applications are there even if you don't have python on your systems it's easy you directly go to these web so websites okay so for that you need nets okay internet you go to the sites and you uh, just write up the codes and run there it will be done okay next this has got a huge community who constantly make libraries and help i i say that exactly okay uh, we'll be going in more detail with more four points afterwards let's go first here uh one second let me bring all the features there quick okay so the very first feature of the python that is simplicity someone say python is very simple yeah so python is currently one of my favorite language and the most preferred language to work uh, because it is simple very simple having very powerful libraries and readability okay so you may be like uh, that's why i ask how, how many of you are from a school right so you may be like a old school coder or maybe completely new to programming anyone or maybe you know the basics of programming Python is the best way to get started for any, uh, like you know, someone said the field artificial intelligence. So there are various fields like this game development. We'll be talking in which fields you can go with this. Uh, very interesting field. I am in the field of data science. Okay. Uh, from you, anyone is there who has also taken AIML or data science? No one? Okay. So let's go with this simplicity simplicity is like you can describe on you have to think like uh, very less of your syntax okay and the more uh, you can focus the more uh, portion you can say the more portion where you focus is the codes okay so you focus much of your code and very less of your syntax that is called as simplicity very simple next is open source what we were talking previous one okay uh, a powerful language and a very free to use and alter you can say as open source is like you know it's simple to define up there so if you have any difficulties in understanding any of the feature i just ask because it's you're learning for many of you might be new very new so it should be very clear to start up with a very new language okay portability is something like this codes can be shared it would work the same uh, it can be converted in some other language like from uh, c++ to python code python to c++ python to html python to csv python to excel and various formats json file that is portability okay now next is embedded and extensible 
So Python can have a snippets of other language inside it to perform certain functions that what exactly we call as being embeddable and extensible. Next is the interpreter. Okay. Uh, this is like the worries of large memory task and other heavy CPU or you can say tasks that are taken care by here it is being taken care by the Python itself okay the and compiler as you say like think that you are working on a website okay you are building a website of like and websites do have a, a good code of 100 to 150 pages um, normally okay so think like you make a mistake okay then you you ran the code so in compiler based what happens someone said that it goes for running a block of code it gives you the output at a block of code that's exactly correct okay. so it goes for running all the code for once and will give you the output and think like if you get an error okay get an error in 150 pages of codes one error okay that would be also a very uh, we can say hard work to find that error and to fix it down there but in case of an interpreter, what happens whenever you write a code in Python, right? It gets interpreted, right? We we don't say, uh, however, we say that the codes are compiled and being interpreted, but we never say that these are compiled. We always say this is being interpreted, right? Because that process is very minute and very fast. Okay. It is okay. Anyway, so whenever you write the codes, what happens in the very next line? It is being it is being interpreted, right? That is, it is being converted in that machine language. Okay, and then if there is such an execution part or an output part, it will do that and give the result to you in front. Okay, so that is being done by the interpreter. Okay, so you don't have to worry much of the thing for the syntax and all. So if only if you write a wrong syntax in a wrong manner, you get an error. Next is huge amount of libraries now this is one of the most important topics uh, after learning python if you if you have good hands on python if you know uh, even a basics of python or if you if you know until some of the modules of the python then you are good to go with the libraries and whenever we talk with the libraries you can see some of the things there like scipy you know like uh, uh, you can also see this numpy and um, you see this is pandas simpy simpy is uh, such a thing which goes with the mathematical total mathematics of python of uh, mathematics when i say mathematics of python that is uh, like uh, you can solve integration differentiation trigonometric problems exponential problems algebraic equations anything okay. that can be solved with anything right so that is like huge libraries where you have a lot of areas to cover the most important as i said i am in the section of data science okay and do we also we go in the fields of ai artificial intelligence and ml machine learning right? that is completely two different things okay next oop object oriented programming object orientations so objects help breaking down real life complex problems into such that it can be coded and can be solved to obtain some solutions. So that we say it's as OPPs, okay. And uh, so with all its feature, I'll just sum it up that Python has got a very simple syntax. It is readable and has a very great community support okay next uh, next we'll go first look at this so uh, understood having any problems in the features part anyone if you guys have any problems in the features part just tell me. no okay next so Python interpreter when we say I said that I'll be Describing it in more detail. Python interpreter is uh, first of all an interpreter, what it is like a computer program that directly executes or you can say performs 
what it performs the instructions written in the scripting language uh, basically programming language right without requiring them previously to have been compiled into a machine language program so unlike java python uses interpreter right so the interpreter is a program that we need to run our python codes or the scripts what it does basically it's to provide an interface between the code and the computer hardware to get the results of the code so no matter in which programming language the code is written it goes through an interpreter when it comes for the python okay so for example like pypy is used to execute the code written in python uh, we uh, what things are there we'll go in so now uh, where is this python used in in this industry so have you noticed that whenever you go on google for searching any 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 keywords uh, or any of your queries you just go either you voice it or either you write it down in the search box and you then tap the search button right uh, what you get there in the very next line uh, you can say the very next line of the search box what is written there have you ever noticed how many of you have noticed that what is there now i'll go to right there and then you will see okay see what happens uh, for any of the like for any websites also whenever you search anything what how search works first of all we'll talk how search bar or search box of any uh, website works you write something okay and then it searches it takes some of the keywords from your uh, content what you have typed what you what you are looking for and it takes some of that keywords and then search for all those keywords along the total users of that website and then it gets the result for you all right so whenever you search on the google it's such a good uh, search engine that whenever you search uh, for anything right it has got millions and millions of result in point seconds microseconds okay you search for like uh, what is python you just search it there okay you just search what is python um, you will get around millions of result in point 63 seconds 73 seconds 77 eight, like less than even one second you get results are based on your internet speech right but you get a lot of results so that is google using this python for better res search results which are provided on the ranking of the websites okay so that is also now being done that for the best website will be uh, picked up as the top most website what you will see okay and that can be different that can be different for everyone like let's say you search for hot star a very simple example okay you search for the hot star right what you will get the original website of hot star or the various articles and all related to the hot star you get everything right is it is not like you don't get the articles also you get everything related to that okay let's say you are typing that um, you want to cancel the premium membership of hot star what do you get sometimes you get even the youtube links sometimes you get even the community support link of hotstar but at top of the most what you get the community support link right what is that the best website because that is the only website which owns the hotstar right so that is what i'm trying to say that it also goes with the ranking you can see the top website will be coming at first and that will be going as much okay next is the dropbox you know like the server and the client is a very easy one the client and applications and all about the iot process these are coded using python it's not of much use next is one all of your favorites might be right how many of you are netflix users four five might be eight you are 19 something like that 19 people there might be anyone Yes, no? No, sir. No? Okay, fine. 
see uh, okay so many of you might be doing online shopping that's also no yes yeah that is huh. that is like an aadhaar card everyone does <laughs> okay fine so uh, whenever you go with the online shopping what do you see please mute your mic see uh let's say that you went for amazon website you downloaded amazon application flipkart mintra a lot of things are there you downloaded any of them right and you just sign up as like the very first user i'm talking about okay when you are a very new user to that company that uh, website you can say what it ask you choose your interest okay choose your interest so you choose some of the interest like probably boys will be choosing some like good laptops um like watches and clothes anything right as so does the girls will be doing their own choices okay so what amazon does so based on your choices for the first time what you do you you do not search for anything just like you make an account and that's it you made uh, you uh, chose some of the topics related to your related to of your interest okay and then you go on searching searching like this rolling rolling and on to the web pages and then you go for a search for anything what you want to purchase you go for a search for all that search results what happens all that search re- results or all that keywords what you use for the search are taken as the keywords of your interest okay so even if you not even if even if you don't choose the uh, uh, that option what was given to you in the previous when you logged in or when you signed up in the uh, amazon it will be uh, given to you like in for the next time so for the next time when you log in on the amazon you will see all the in, all of your interest topics there same goes with the netflix what happens okay uh, see what happens is there uh, when you sign in or when you are very new user to netflix netflix will ask you to select three movies or three shows anything okay three of the three of your best contents what you like to see so so does you will be choosing there's 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 three of it okay now these three movies obviously will be having different genres different uh, moods different uh, kind of things like bollywood hollywood anything right so based on your activities based on your uh, interest for the next time when you log in there it will give you suggestions you can see this movie you can see this one you can see this one this one and every uh, like not every you can say uh, 85 to 90% you can see on it so 85 to 90% what netflix give you without asking will be of your choice and that is done using a tr- not a trick that is that is a technique that is an algorithm which is called as clustering okay and that is an algorithm of cluster algorithm of uh, machine learning okay so netflix uses machine learning to cluster cluster is nothing but the groups you can say on okay like uh, the best example you can say on mm. you know like in the school days i'm giving a very practical example in the school days when you uh, like you will be having cca activities co curriculum activities so like if, if if it is well a class of 60 students so your teacher or a subject teacher what it, what he does for the cca part what he do uh, he will take out some students like Five, five. So he'll make a group of twelve, right? Uh, sorry, a group of five students. Okay. So basically, twelve groups will be there. So what are these twelve groups? These twelve groups will be uh, given different topics to perform, right? Uh, let it be debate, article, anything, right? So these are groups basically. These are groups. Okay. Like in your college, uh, there might be some different type of groups of people of students over there. you might be of some different group some different group uh, the very best example here might be 
not might be it is compulsory for every school you might be having some houses that are groups basically that is clusters so based on your interest it make a group of items or elements or um, basically the movies part all right so that is being given to the user so that user could have more and more interest on that uh, algorithms okay and uh, they can retain there for longer times right next is national Sec uh, security agency right their cyber security is done when you talk on whatsapp have you seen the very uh, beginning line when when you are uh, texting a very new uh, person you can say on okay so you will see some yellow bar there on the very first thing below the number what is that written have you ever noticed your chats are end to end, end, encrypted. Hmm, end, -to -end encrypted right so what is the meaning of that end to end encrypted end to end encrypted means that whenever you write a message here right that goes to the different server uh, sorry different user so, so to whom you are writing up there so it goes through a panel of right there okay so you write something it gets encrypted let it be in letters let it be in numbers anything right and then it goes to the user where it gets decrypted and then the user see a message so that is why it says that end to end encryption so no one can come between this encryption and decryption method to interrupt and to see the message so if someone is doing that that is called the fissure that comes a uh, topic of ethical hack. okay that is a hacking part that is something different that is fissure so it's like uh, taking signals from this side and also getting the uh, answers here and then moving that signal further on right so the usa cyber security analysis work of encryption and decryption is done using python so many a times you would also download movies from BitTorrent. many of you might be doing there right like whenever you want to see a movie you not get on anywhere you download it from there or uh, any such things applications are there most of the times right so there you download one uh, you can say file but when you download, you see a lot of files, a lot of peers moving there. What are those things? Those are small files, very, very small files, which are Python files. Okay. And that is called as a torrent, right? And out of that torrent, you get a data. And that data is what you are searching for. Right? That is. Next, we have NASA. NASA uses this for scientific calculations that are... Uh, computed using Python, basically with the use of SciPy, NumPy, SimPy, these things, okay. Next, we are just going to see how we are going to learn Python, from where do we are going to start up with this. So first, we'll understand Python basics, then we'll understand the variables, data types and the operators, arrays and the flow controls, their methods, file handlings, OPS and the prop, practice, that's it. And now coming to the career opportunities of the python we can say the python has got a lot of career opportunities in python like you can go with the development and the frameworks the django part web development someone said with the game development you can go the django you can go big data it's a very good field okay you can go with that web testing selenium okay Artificial intelligence and data science, very good uh, field to work on, right? And even the popular one, okay? Then you have smart services, IOT, building machines, smart machines, okay? And this graph you can see of the Python, which is now a bit uh, like a trending one, okay? Uh, job profiles is this, and salary in USD you can see up. Uh, PPT you will get in your drive link. You can go through this. Okay. Next. So as per we see that uh, the language Python has gained its popularity by 28.73 in the last five years. Okay. Right. And now it's being in the like. So whenever you search for its popularity, you will always find it in the top three. 
for now it's in the top one uh, so this was the Python developer job trends now what is experience when we say a Python developer we say that Python developer is a job right and it's a very good job with like when we say a good job that means good for work good for popularity and good at price price means your salary right okay now for a python developer in india they earns around a 500k in a year okay like when we say for the experience this is like an average salary of 5 lakh per year it, that, that is an average salary okay so don't go for like they'll be having only five that's not even they get a great one right that that depends on places even more we'll talk it right now next it like uh, for the experience when i say that if you're having one to four year of experience and five one with a good knowledge you get 588k around if you're having more than that five to nine years of experience you can see one million right that's being increased then you see two million right and that is of india this is of an india right or for any other country for any other country it's obviously high okay next now uh, for india we can see average salary if i'm going with an average one in the gurgaon sector we have 734k bangalore new delhi pune mumbai accordingly and with the usa comparing table okay so see in the california you can see an average salary of 122k okay 122k good one right and what the good interesting fact you can see there is that the number of jobs posted monthly for an python developer there is 1.9k 1900 jobs per month right so obviously there is a good reason to go over there okay. and uh, so what we discussed we discussed experience next what we discussed here is the location based on the location you can say how popular can be the job okay next is by the skills the three thing imported for any job what is your experience what is the location you are going to work and what are your skills so if you have a good knowledge on python along with some skills when we say in skills once again once again Hmm. So, uh, like, if you are having a good knowledge along with the Python in AWS, Amazon Web Services, P Django APIs, it's also very important one. Okay, uh, Docker, Linux, machine learning, good one. JavaScript, Java engine. So, if you have a good knowledge on these two, you are probably like to get a good job anywhere. Okay. So that's being the fact, and most of the thing. Uh, you can do with the python right uh, one more thing so uh, similar searches and modification okay next we are going to see one more i'll let you know tab off one second
okay uh, so yeah again okay. summing up right very first reason you can see on your screens read it there also extensive libraries the main importance uh, keywords now we'll be focusing on extensive libraries frameworks okay for machine learning and artificial intelligence for data science and for various fields you have seen there right uh, some of the important uh, libraries you can see in Keras, TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, NMP, Pandas, SciPy, Seaborn. These are things what we learn basically in AI ML sections and the data science sections. Okay. Next is Python is a platform independent language. Its code can be made to create standalone executable programs for most common operating systems, uh, even of the Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Okay. Next is the reason three. That Python has a very big community and a lot of popularity among it is among the first 10 of the languages as we have discussed till now right so you have a lot of good supports techniques and all it's easy to learn and the code reassembles every day all the things you will get in the PPT to learn from there okay so things you can do with the Python is you can develop a website you can develop desktop softwares you can develop games and graphics you can develop Android applications, a complex one, right? Like Instagram. You can perform data analysis using visual tools and machine learning. You can create A and N, that is artificial neural networks, also called as deep learning. Next, we have big data We're using Spark. So features of the Python, there are a lot of features to come there. No compiling or linking, okay? No type declarations, automatic memory management, high level type data types basically and operations OOPs embedding and extending in C basically now it is like in C++ and JSON files, Excel files, HTML files and more right uh, dynamic loading of C modules all this will go on with the Jupyter and I will let you know how this Anagona looks like for those who are not having okay uh, so these are the things uh, for many of the users they don't use any of the environments and editors I'll let you know what is an editor, why it is important, how it works. Okay. Before that, one is called as integrated development environment. So whenever you download Python, anytime, right? So this IDE, what we call as integrated development environment, this typically provides code editor, a compiler or an interpreter based, or uh, like a typical in GUI, you know, graphical user interface. So it gives the entire process of code creation, compilation, and testing, which increases the popularity of, uh, or you can say the productivity of the developers. And it's an official for the Python IDE, we say. So a developer working with an IDE starts with a model. Uh, you can say which the IDE translates into the suitable code for what you are looking on. The IDE then uh, debugs and tests the modern model driven code with a high level of automation. Okay, so once it is built successful and properly tested, the code is being tested, right? It can be deployed for further testing through the IDEs and other tools for this, right? So, which IDE is to be chosen? There? That is a very important factor for every of the developers or any of the starters. Okay, which Python ID? So always keep some points what I'm going to tell you now that choosing the best IDE in Python you go with, right? So always keep the following points now while going to discuss, okay? First one is the level of expertise. That means are you a beginner? Are you a professional? Okay, based on this also you can choose that which uh, kind of IDE you are going to use. Okay. Hmm. Next is the type of industry or the sector you are using. Like if you are using for a school one, you are not going to use a very good IDE. Right. Although every IDE are good. You don't like some are paid IDEs. What are used by the professionals? For, if you go to see the pie charm, you will see. One is community one and one is I think professional one. So you don't have to go with there. That is professionals one. The ability to buy commercial versions, what I'm saying. Okay. That is called as next is 
the kind of software being developed so if you are using ide for some projects what kind of softwares you are trying to build based on that you can also choose your ide on also you need to integrate with other languages what other languages you need to integrate your ide with like do you also want to integrate your language or your code with the c++ with the java with the javascript with the uh, html right that is all how you choose your ides so these are some of the points you can say okay so that is we'll be discussing all regarding the things from tomorrow so for now those who don't have uh, python let me show you that when you download this it looks something like this right ide interface what exactly looks like one second hold on let me it open hmm so it looks like this here you write up your codes like let me write two plus three and you just hit an enter you get the results corresponding to it you see it there okay so like uh, you write anything so i'm just printing something hello see you can see there Hmm. So this is the shell or IDE what you look just now. Okay, this is the one. The next is this Python launcher. We'll be looking on what how it works. Next is talking about the Anaconda one, right? So when you have downloaded your Anaconda, you get something like this. Let me open this. It's going to open. Hmm, so it will take some a bit of seconds to load in there one minute kind of hmm. so uh, next is like it will open somewhere and we are going to work in the section notebook right this is a web-based interface computing notebook environment edit and human readable docs will be there okay for more uh, to see like what environments you are going to use a lot of environments can when you download this, you get everything here. One second, yeah, come down, come down. One moment. Okay, it's taking something. So might be loading something all right so we got to learn from this Jupyter section right let me load this we'll just launch this up so this is the shell you would also getting there and this gets uploaded uh, or you can say this gets loaded on your default browser okay and these are like the files to be there what you will be seeing not exactly like this you'll be getting a fresh new one might be five ten files and then the last things okay so we'll be going through all these things from tomorrow so for now how many have doubts regarding the things what we discussed now how many of you have doubts ppt and the recording see guys the ppt once is like uh, you will be getting a drive link okay and there you will be getting a ppt right regarding the recordings is like you will also get a link okay and and that recordings will be uploaded on the youtube channel right that will be a 
unlisted one basically no one can see it right for those who have the link can only view it okay so don't share that link to anyone right uh, you will be getting links of your recordings and you can go through it anytime okay you will get the ppts there so download your uh, chrome sorry not chrome sorry uh, your environments for those who are not having i have shared the link again right from there you can get your editors and environments downloaded and for any problems in the download process just whatsapp in the group i'll let you know there okay so like this see okay uh, so for this like uh, we'll be having today we just what okay she is asking so which version is best for python and environment uh, i use 3.6.5 now i think i have upgraded it it's like okay from uh, from 3.6 you can use any version okay everything is better for environment i'll suggest anaconda that's a good one because you get a lot of things to work there so uh, like this today was an introductory part okay just was an introduction All right and from tomorrow we are just going to start up the things right so the first half will be your lecture part so for tomorrow we are going to start up the good things okay anyone having any doubts let me stop your recording today one second